Now let us discuss this problem. Question says, upon mixing 45 ml of 0.25 m lead nitrate solution with 25 ml of 0.1 m chromic sulphate, precipitation of lead sulphate takes place. How many moles of lead sulphate are formed? Also calculate the molar concentration of the species left behind in the final solution. Assume that lead sulphate is completely insoluble. So this is the thing that is given. So first task is to write balanced chemical equation. So we have lead nitrate PVNO3 all twice and this is reacting with chromium sulphate that is Cr2 SO4 all thrice. Now this will give you PVSO4 plus chromium nitrate so this is chromium nitrate chromium oxidation state is 3 now let us balance chromium this side 2 chromium so now this side 2 chromium we have 6 nitrate so we have to multiply by 3 now we have 3 lead so I have to multiply by 3 now check sulphate so this side we have 3 sulphate this side also I have 3 sulphate so this is a balanced chemical equation and PBSO4 is a precipitate now question says we have taken 45 ml of 0.25 m lead nitrate so this is 45 ml and 0.25 m concentration is 0 0.05 0 0.25 m and this is 25 ml of 0.1 m chromic sulphate so this is 25 ml 0.1 m of chromic sulphate now let us say first find moles so for this what is the mole 45 into 0.25 so use calculator so I can say 45 and this multiplied by 0.25 so this is 11.25 millimole so this case we have 11.25 millimole so this is millimole now in the next case this is 2.5 millimole because this is 0.1 so 2.5 millimole now this is a question of limiting reagent so which one is the limiting reagent so let us find product PBSO4 we have to also find how many moles of lead sulfate are formed so let us say find moles of PBSO4 moles of PBSO4 and first let us find this is on the basis of lead nitrate that is PVNO3 all twice now 3 mole gives you 3 mole PVSO4 so this will give you 11.25 millimole so in this case this is 11.25 millimole now if you use chromium sulphate so moles of PVSO4 and this is on the basis of chromium sulphate that is Cr2 SO4 whole thrice now in this case this mole will be so 1 gives 3 so 2.5 will give you 2.5 into 3 that is 7.5 millimole this means uh, the amount of product formed is 7.5 millimole and CR2 SO4 3 is limiting so amount of PVSO4 formed this is equals to basically 7.5 millimole and I can say the Cr2SO4 whole thrice is limiting Cr2 because it is used first is limiting and this gives you lesser amount of product and lead nitrate is in excess Now you see how many mole of lead nitrate is in excess. So when 7.5 millimole of chromium sulphate reacts, that is chromic sulphate, how many mole of lead nitrate will react? So 
all basically when 2.5 millimole of chromic sulfate reacts at the same time 7.5 millimole of lead nitrate will react so reacted mole of lead nitrate so now I can say reacted moles of lead nitrate and this is 7.5 so left mole of lead nitrate so this will be this will be, will be having 11.25 11.25 minus 7.5 millimole so if I use calculator 11.25 minus 7.5 so this is 33.75 millimole now we can calculate the concentration of a space is basically PVNO3 it will give you PV2 plus of 3.75 millimole and it will also give you it will also give you because 3.75 into 2 mole of nitrate so NO3 minus this is equals to 2 into 3.75 millimole now you see this side that chromium nitrate that is formed how many mole of chromium nitrate will be formed so 2.5 1 gives 2 so 2.5 will give you 5 millimole so we are having chromium nitrate that is CR NO3 whole 3 and this is 5 millimole now this will give you chromium CR3 plus that is chromic ion it will give you 5 millimole because 1 millimole will give you 1 millimole of chromium and no 3 minus in this case you will have 5 into 3 that is 15 millimole so let us find concentration of PV2 plus first so what is the final volume final volume will be addition of these two volume so we can see here or let us say first find millimole of of PV2 plus and this is equals to 3.75 millimole so let us say find the final volume so you have 45 ml and 25 ml so this is 60 plus 10 that is 70 so you have 70 milliliter that is the final volume so final volume is 70 milliliter final volume of solution is equals to 70 milliliter so now concentration of PV2 plus this is equals to 3.75 and this divided by 70 so 3.75 divided by 70 so this is divided by 70 so this comes out to be 0 0.053 so this is 0 0.053 m similarly one can we can one can calculate for CR3 plus we have 5 millimole so CR3 plus we can say this is 5 by 70 now milli milli goes so we are not writing milli so this is 5 by 70 so we have 5 and this divided by 70 so this is 0 0.0714 so this is 0 0.0714 molar now nitrate so how many nitrate ion we have so 2 into 3.75 this is basically 6 7.5 millimole so this is 7.5 millimole now 7.5 plus 15 so total millimole of nitrate is 22.5 so Na3 minus will be 
22.5 divided by 70 so this is the concentration of nitrate ion that is 22.5 point five and this divided by seventy so this is equals to point three two one so zero point three two one m so these are the concentration for different ion that is present in the solution